Welcome to this presentation on NX Schematics. Fully integrated within NX, NX Schematics is a 2D schematic capture application. It provides the ability to apply logical design to various systems, including electrical, piping and pneumatics. NX Schematics not only captures the schematic graphic layout, but applies attribute information to the components, connectors and connections. Existing schematics can be imported into NX and have the required attribute information applied directly to them. Library creation is simple and uses NX modelling and drafting applications to create the 2D symbols. Reporting functions include bill of materials, connection and component lists, as well as user-defined reporting. NX schematics having full operability with NX makes the application suitable for aerospace, automotive and equipment manufacturing industries. Logical information can be imported into 3D routing applications to merge the logical information into the 3D environment. Connections can be identified in 3D and wire bundle diameters calculated. To start this demonstration, I will cover the basics of creating devices, connectors and connections. Graphics for these objects can be created on the fly, imported or retrieved from libraries. I will create the first device from scratch. The box command draws a simple rectangle and then prompts for required text attributes. This device represents a power pack and has a designation of PP with a text description of power pack. When required, additional attributes can be added. In this case, I'm going to add a supplier. Attribute information can be reviewed and edited. For the next object, I will show building the graphic from existing lines. These can be drawn in NX or imported from other systems. A rectangle with chamfers in the corner will now represent the connector. Create device from curves command will allow the selection of curves, then prompt for additional text attributes similar to the previous command. The reference designator for the connector is CONPB. Connectors need connections, and these are drawn with the add connection point command. If the connector is selected, than the point and label locations. Connections can be represented by circles or point objects. Attribute information is displayed for the connector. The library command provides an interface to add devices, connectors and connections from a library. The location and arrangement of library files is mapped in the operating system. Folders are navigated through the upper panel. For my purpose, I have separated files into connectors, devices, switches and wires. The arrangement of folders is up to the user. From the lower panel, I will select a device. The icons represent parts held within the device folder. The circuit board device is added to the schematic. Next, navigating to the connectors folder, I will select a 16-pin connector. Graphics are defined in the library as a single file. When being added, the graphics can be rotated, mirrored and scaled to suit. A rotation of 180 degrees is required. 
If I wished to flip the pin sequences, I could also mirror about the y-axis. The graphics for the connector is defined using NX curves and text. Pin connections are defined and if required attributes such as terminal part numbers are added at this stage. In addition to the graphics part file, a text descriptor file is created. The information in this file defines the prompt for the library box, the location and name of the associated NX part file, the name values, location and style of any default text attributes. The default designator for this connector is COM1. It will be displayed with the graphic. The style of the displayed text is defined below. Other default attributes including part number, vendor and description are defined. The attributes on the connector can be reviewed and edited. I will change the reference designator to a value of con CB for connector circuit board. Connections, in this case wires, are added through the library or by selecting existing curves. In this case I have a big selection of colour as the differentiator. Once the wire is selected, I can define the connection type for ease of placement. Normal placement makes the longest axis of the line the first direction to be taken. Horizontal makes the x-axis the first direction. Vertical makes the y-axis the first direction. Direct connects the two points directly, whereas zigzag places an X or Y movement in the midpoint. I will now place a red and black wire. My default settings are to add descriptive text naming the wire and its colour. Changing the drawing display from monogram to colour, monogram to colour, can display the wire colours if required. Adding a device such as a switch can split the connections and prompt the user to rename the new added connections. Deleting the switch device will heal the connections. When moving associated text, the connection highlights to show the association. Before generating any reports, let's review the attribute information attached to the graphics. The device has information such as reference designator, part number and description. The connector has similar attributes, plus the associated device being the controller. The connection includes the connection name, gauge, colour and type. The terminals have a part number attribute, as they need to be reported separate to the connector for ordering purposes. The report definition files are used to find text files describing which attributes are to be included. The first report generated is a bill of materials. The report can be placed on the drawing as a table or as an external text file. Now a connection list is added. Information includes the connectors, terminals and wires with their associated part numbers.
to interface with the NX electrical harness application, a component list and net list can be stored as text files ready to import into the NX electrical navigators. The import of these lists is included in the NX electrical routing presentation.